like the absolute value is only a positive number, but that's not true. You can have a negative value within the, the absolute value. So that's why, And but the number one is it's a distance from zero. I told you guys that all the time, whenever we talk about absolute value, I always say it's a distance from zero, distance from zero. That's the number one, uh, number one when, uh, definition for it. It's the best definition, okay? So now, we're gonna work on the problems. So this first one is 2x plus nine equals 15. Now, luckily I don't have to move anything around. All I have to do is just get right to solving it. So remember there's the, there's my way. So 2x plus nine equals 15. Negative 2x plus nine equals 15. And then the book's way. So the book's way. And someone in first period today told me, Miss, the book way is easier for me to do. If that's true for you, use the book way. Okay. My way I know because I've done it for years and years and years. But you guys are still able to pick the route that you like before you get stuck in a in the habit of one. So the book way is 2x plus 9 equals 15 and 2x plus nine equals negative 15. I'm gonna do both ways for all these problems just so you can see that the answers are always the same, whether you do it my way or the book way. So I'm gonna start with the book way because it's a little bit faster. Both steps require me to subtract nine from both sides, right? That leaves me with two X is equal to 15 minus nine is six, okay? Same thing over here, 2x equals, now 15 is negative and nine is also negative. So that's the same as saying 15 plus nine, but I keep my negative sign. So 15 plus nine, when I add it up, gives me 24, okay? Now, when I divide by two, I'm left with x equals three and x equals negative 12, okay? Yes, we all, we all know how I got that. We all understand how to get that. So then if we're doing it my way, this first one is just like this one over here. So I'm gonna kind of get through it really quickly, which is just two X equals six, divide by two, and that is X equals three. Okay, now this one, remember this is a plus two X, so a positive and a negative become negative positive and a negative are negative, 15. Once again, I add nine to both sides. That gives me a negative two X is equal to a positive 24 this time. But when I divide it by negative two, I still get X equals negative 12. So you see, I get the same answer no matter which way I do it. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't matter which one, okay? So, any questions on that one? Okay. The next one is gonna be this one here, which is the absolute value of six minus two F equals negative five. Okay. Now I have it so that it's the absolute value equals a negative number. What does that mean? How, what is my solution? I thought that it was um, no solution because I had an F. That is correct. It's no solution because it e my absolute value equals negative five. So the way, the easiest way to remember it, because one someone in my other classes said that they were a little bit confused on that. If I have the absolute value of something, right, either a number or an equation or something like that, well, not a number, it has to have that variable in it to make it an equation, and it equals a negative number, that is no solution, no matter what. The key is my absolute value has to be by itself, like in this case. There's nothing else that I can subtract or multiply Okay, so if there's nothing else and it's just the absolute value and it's equal to a negative number, 
there's no solution. We're done with that problem. Okay, and let me see if I can squeeze. Yeah, we can do this last one. So the last one is the absolute value of negative six X equals 30. So for this, we keep it as negative six X equals 30. Then I'm gonna do a negative, negative six X equals 30. And then the book way is negative six X equals 30 and negative six X equals negative 30. Okay, so I keep this as is, I just take it out of the absolute value. So now I'm just gonna divide everything by negative, well, this case, a negative and a negative become a positive six X. So I'm dividing by six still though. So divide by negative six. So I'm trying to save time because it's all the same number. There's nothing else I have to do in this problem. All I have to do is divide by negative six or six. Why did, okay. you, did you distribute it into, um, because you took out the absolute value and you distributed it into a parentheses and yet it's still a negative. So. For this one? Yeah, and the, the left one too. Which which left? Oh, this, these two. Yeah. So I just take out the absolute value signs and I leave it as six negative six X equals 30. But remember in the way that I do it, I do the negative six X, whatever is inside as is, and then I do a second one where I multiply everything by a negative. Okay. So that's what I did there. In the end, it gives me X is equal to negative five, X is equal to five. And once again, over here, X is equal to negative five and X is equal to five. So my final answer is X is equal to negative five and five. Okay, and that's it because we have like five minutes. I know you guys have to get ready to go. Um, the homework. If you're using the homework in the actual um, book, it's page 81 and 82. I think that's what it is. Someone asked me in, in first period as well. And let me double check. It is page 81 through 83 in the actual textbook. Okay. We got it. So with that, um, you guys can pack up and get ready to go. I'll still be here. 81 through 83, all questions. 81 through 83, 1 through 16, even. I'll, I'll send it all in, in remind for you guys. Okay. And I will see you guys tomorrow.